connecting in. Hello, namaste. Well, I thought since we did Clinton, um, politics and money, that I thought it would be fair to do Trump politics and money and see what comes out. Okay, first things out, and this is kind of, a lot of cards kind of came out with this one and clarifications and things, so we'll see if I can get through here. Um, that Trump is faithful and his message is to the pleasure seekers, those with money, okay? He's all about the rich, okay? Again, pleasure seekers, that's who he speaks to, and he is faithful to that. Faithful to the rich and faithful to his base, okay? The rich and his base that want to uh, keep arms, etc., etc. Okay, so let's go through. His administration needs healing, okay? Because things are not going well. He wanted to come in and promote that he was like the guardian angel going to make America great again, but he is anything but, okay? That's overturned, okay? So he didn't come in to be a guardian angel to change our economy, to, to make it better, make America great again. He came to serve his own, uh, his own self, and that's it. He came in and he's brought nothing but oppression in all of the cabinet posts he's done. He's put people in that would tear them down. Not people that wanted to make the EPA better. He put somebody in there that wanted to tear down the EPA. He put somebody in at the head of, uh, what's his name, the guy that just spent $31,000 for furniture until he got caught. Head of housing and development. He has no idea on housing and development. Voss, he put in for education. She has no idea about any of that. So, and he, who did he have? Bannon. Bannon, that was an anarchist, that his whole thing is to tear down America, oppress it, and make it look as if you're benefiting it. Okay, he keeps talking benefit, 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 keeps, you know, wielding his message, and I am so faithful to the U.S. No, he's not. He's not faithful to the U.S. He's faithful to his to the rich and to his base, okay? So again, omens are coming in. The omens are not good that are coming in um, with what's happening. He wanted to promote a new life, okay? The eggs to hatch, okay? But uh, with things going so bad, you know, really at this thing, he keeps running to Mar-a-Lago you know, and, and puts those things out because this, this is the card of the, you know, investigation is going and he's putting the scarecrow out there to keep things away from his money and his things. He doesn't want them to find his money. That's what he's growing there. And he wants to, you know, keep going back to his women, happy life of the women, okay? and his house, and he wants to keep going back to Mar-a-Lago, okay? And he puts, again, he puts that scarecrow out to save his crop of what he's, you know, attempting to put in place. He keeps talking about change, but he skews everything. He skews it. Nothing is upright. Nothing is, is that he talks about is what he is talking about. Behind the scenes, it's very skewed just like he did with the, the dreamers. Oh, in one second, I'll put whatever they bring on the table. And that is if it's, eh, nope. If you don't have uh, a wall, everything that I want, you're not getting the dreamers. Oh, let's get away guns. Let's, let's do heavier regulations. Next day, eh, nope. Uh, I'm with you, NRA, all the way, okay? Uh, so yeah, no, no. There's nothing in that cauldron cooking. You know, he's, he's a 
again about trying to make his dreams come true, trying to keep in motion that, you know, life is for him to enjoy, to make his money, you know, and uh, to continue to go forward in that. This has got his mental, his mental uh, agriculture going, that he lives in his own realm, his own realm of fantasy and nonsense, okay? Nonsense. And uh, that they have the, uh, now they have that, let's see, and pull these out. They've got that storm going, okay? That perfect storm is going to be his undoing, but he's still under the illusion that, hey, I'm Trump. I'm up here. I'm going to have control of it. I just have to wait it out till things become right. That's all. I just have to, you know, wait it out. And uh, again, so we come down here. And he's thinking that uh, I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to make these back backdoor deals. And I'm going to steal away with this stuff. I'm going to get away with quite a bit, but I've just, again, it's time. I just got to wait for time to birth this. I just have to wait for the right timing and I can birth it. Okay, it's going to be a heavy struggle. Okay, maybe we'll take some hits and I'm going to have to fight it out, but I'm going to win. You know, and he's got the ice queen there behind him. <laughs> Ivanka, I don't know, her card always comes up as the ice queen. But he's got the ice queen back there going, Daddy, you can do it, Daddy. Okay. <laughs> and uh, again, now, what is what is it behind the scenes that's, that's going on? Uh, he's, again, in this collusion, in bed with Putin. Okay, with Putin. And he keeps rushing to do his bidding because, again, they are all in this, this wedding, this, uh, the wedding of, you know, all being together, all together in this, okay? And he thinks that, you know, what's on the table are all these things that the, uh, that they have been offering, and these uh, usually the empress is like, uh, you know, uh, you're getting gaining all these things from the universe, gaining all these, uh, all these goods, all this, you know, everything that can be given, you're going to get. And he thinks he's going to have a celebration in the end. You know, in the end, I just have to hang on, and when the time is right, I'm going to be able to steal away. Okay, yeah, okay, it's a perfect storm that's coming out. But what he doesn't realize is that perfect storm is going to be his unending, okay? Because mm -hmm. he's living in the F word, fantasy, fantasy, okay? And uh, it doesn't matter how many times he gives his message to the rich and to his base about how faithful he is with it. Okay, doesn't matter how many times he tries to delude himself. Okay, and he keeps trying to make these deals behind the scenes. Okay, and tries to save everything that they've done. His, uh, that's his harvest. Trying to save his harvest from all the things and go back to having his nice life. And his women, you know, to again be king of the castle. <laughs> uh, omens are, it's not good. It's not going to happen. Okay. Again, he came not as a garden angel, but he wants to say we're going to make America great again. No, he's there to oppress it. Okay. He's there. Again, let me find the things. He's there in collusion, in collusion, in cahoots with Putin, rushing to do his bidding, 
because they are in bed together, okay? And he's got to be faithful to that, okay? But he thinks in the end he's going to celebrate. I just have to wait it out. That's all, okay? It might take some hits, but if I just wait it out, wait it out, it's going to birth a new life going to birth something new and then I can steal away with my ill-gotten gains. Okay. And his lovely daughter, <laughs> Ivanka, the ice queen, <laughs> is right back there. Come on, daddy, you can do it. <laughs> she's right there. I think she's in some ways just as delusional as he is. All I have to do is be out there and look pretty. And I can convince them of anything. Just look how I have my husband wrapped around my little finger. I can get him to do anything. Okay. So they keep inventing their mental agriculture. That yeah, they're going to get all the prosperity. All those things are going to be theirs. They just have to wait out the storm. But unfortunately for them, it's a perfect storm that uncovers what's been hidden. And his fantasy about his dreams coming true and how he's changing America for the better are all fantasy. Okay, He needs some serious healing. <laughs> he needs some... Serious healing because he, he is mentally going off the tracks. I mean, he's never been the brightest light bulb in the pack, but now he's really, <laughs> he's like the train that's derailing as we speak. So, uh, yeah, so that's the outlook on Trump politics behind the scenes. What's going on again? He's in bed with Putin. And I think more than uh, getting a big kickback from Putin, he's being blackmailed. Uh, he's got other stuff. But they've got their other deals going on behind the scenes. You know, again, they've, they've amassed some things, and he's got that scarecrow out there trying to save the crop of what he's amassed that he thinks he's going to uh, walk away with in the end. Okay, and he's got his cadre of his uh, little girl, the ice queen, that's out there behind the scenes doing deals as well. But again, yeah, they're under the illusion that this crop, they can put up some kind of a scarecrow, some sort of a diversion that they'll be able to uh, walk away with their ill-gotten games. So namaste. Have a wonderful afternoon.